All right, so the first trick we're gonna do, board stall over the spine. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're doing a board stall over a spine is have one foot on the tail and one foot on the nose. So unlike a rock to fakie, you're not coming back in fakie. You're going over the spine. So that's why you're gonna need your foot on the nose to be able to come in and lift that truck up over the coping. And just remember when you're doing this to really press on that nose because sometimes when you're shifting your weight from one way all the way to the other side, you might not shift it all the way over and then your truck might hang up. So just make sure you really press on that nose and make sure you get that truck over the coping. And as you're pressing on the nose, just shift your weight, dip your shoulder forward and lean forward. Now board stall is probably the easiest trick to do on the spine. The only other trick that might be easier is trick number two, blunt stall. It's gonna say tail stall, but it's actually a blunt stall when you're going over a spine. So when you approach the blunt stall over a spine, you're gonna wanna have one foot on the tail and one foot just under the front bolts. Now, this trick could be scary at first because, I don't know, just spines are pretty scary in general. Especially one like this, like a big one. It's like, what, five feet, single bar spine. So, you know, there is a risk of falling. But this is really one of the safer tricks. Once you get over that fear of trying it, it'll be easy, simple. Because once you get up to the blunt stall, all this is a drop in. But there is one thing you have to make sure of. You just have to make sure that you get those back wheels over the coping. That's really the only mistake you're gonna run into. So what I do to make sure I get over the coping is I press on the tail, I get a little bit of extra speed, and I almost give a little bit of a hop, just making sure I'm above the coping. So it might be scary, feel like you're doing an air or something, but it's just like an inch or so above it, and then you're gonna press on the tail and stomp it in. And that should feel really comfortable once you do it once. Then after that, all you do is dip your shoulder forward, lean in, just like a drop in. And once you get that, you're ready for trick number three, which is switch rock to fakie. Now, any of these tricks could be the easiest for you. Every person has a different way they move their, their shoulders and what feels comfortable for them. So, switch rock to fakie could be the easiest trick for you. If you're really good at rock to fakies, then it probably is. All right, so just like the board stall transfer, you're gonna wanna have one foot on the tail and one foot on the nose. So as you ride up the ramp, you're gonna wanna press on your tail a little bit. Well, actually it's your nose because you're riding up switch. You're gonna wanna press on it just a little bit to lift those wheels up to get it into the board stall. Then next, you're gonna wanna shift your weight, keep leaning into the ramp and get ready for that rock fakie. Then all you have to do is press on the tail and do a rock fakie. Just make sure you press hard enough to make sure your wheels get over the coping because you don't want to hang up. All right, so trick number four is front side 5 -o. Now you might be wondering why I didn't say 50-50. On a round bar spine like this, I think 5-0 is way easier because it takes more coordination to put your truck down into a 50-50 than it does to do a 5-0. Let me explain. So when you come up, it's almost just like a blunt stall, but you're turned slightly front side and holding it in just like a blunt with one wheel on the coping. And by only turning that much, it locks the wheel in perfectly when you press on your heel. And then once you're able to lock in, you're gonna readjust your shoulders and drop back into the ramp. Also, when you're doing this trick, you wanna make sure, just like the blunt stall, that you give a little bit of a hop, just getting above the coping, like an inch, half inch, just a little bit, just so it feels more comfortable when you press down on the tail and stomp it in. Now, by only turning a little bit when you're locking into it, that keeps you safe, because if you miss, you're just gonna go into a blunt stall and you'll be safe to jump out. Otherwise, if you turn too much, you could slip out and miss. So, 
just when you're first learning it, make sure you only turn a little bit and just try to just lock that wheel on. So there's a few different tricks I could put for trick number five, which actually I'll put at the end of the video, I'll just do a bunch of other tricks that are pretty easy just to give you guys some ideas. But for trick number five, it's gonna be blunt stall nose grab. Now one common mistake people make when doing this trick is they go to grab too early and they don't lift their wheels up over the coping, which you don't wanna do. So just make sure you follow the technique from the blunt stall method really press on the tail and get those wheels up over the coping and then grab the nose for some people this could even feel more comfortable because you're holding the nose you know have more control over the board but it's all personal preference so once you get into it you just lean forward and roll away all right guys i'm gonna put the tripod on the garbage can now show you some other tricks you can do on the spine <laughs> 